MLB Network brings you baseball from under the lights at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's going to be fun marveling at two of the best in the game, and it's next on MLB Network. Nola gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Aaron Nola coming on the pride and joy of Louisiana State University. Kind of a four-pitch mix. Fastball, slider, curveball, and change. None of his pitches rate really on a scale of 10. None of them are eights or nines, but he's solid and he throws strikes. You'll know early if he's on, he'll induce a lot of ground balls. Into the box now, Leonis Martin. He'll get us started in this one under the lights ready to deliver here's the first pitch and now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game first pitch, seven o'clock the wind up and the 0 one well above the letters with the fastball that time Game time temperature tonight, 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. The 1-1 one, one. is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Wow, third pitch of the game. That looked like a pretty good pitch. If that's called a ball, it could be a rough night for the pitchers tonight. Ball even at 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Now a moment here for the Indians' Got starting exactly. lineup. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. He's such a great talent, the kind of talent that can dominate a game, a, a perennial all-star, and win some awards. He's one of the best in the game today, and he's always fun to watch. Stepping up to the plate, Jason Kipnis, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. A ball and no strikes. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the game, I think. Consistent, well-respected, accurate strike zone. Uh, Debro, you hit it right there. He makes you bring the ball over the plate. We'll give a little bit off the strike zone. I think the one thing that's important that he does, he has the same strike zone in the first inning. You'll see that same strike zone in the ninth. 2-0 -well count, the pitch. 3-0 and oh now. Fouls this one off. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that, that call. Hurt. Busted him the inside on a 3 1 count, and the okay. yump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Right tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that though digging in the switch hitter Jose Ramirez first shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away first pitch coming here it is the fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one one and oh the 1 0 home it's a fastball that misses. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. The 2-0. Too tight with that one. 3-0. 
We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Set. Here's the 3-1. Hey. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. Now the 3-2 and two pitch lifted the other way down the left field line. After it is McCutcheon, and no one will track it down. Another full count pitch home. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, the he goes down on strikes, Carlos. but he really made that Santana. guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. So now Carlos Santana. He's set and the pitch. Well, and that misses inside 1 0. Kipnis leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Santana in front with a 2 0 count. Not the ideal spot to be right here. 2 0 count on a real good hitter. Boy, you're going to have to make some really good pitches now. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Nope. 3 0. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. He's set. Here's the 3 0. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk of the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. First offering on its way. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. What a well executed pitch right there. Just a little bit off the corner right there. Got a great hitter to go a little bit outside his zone. Fastball well outside. Kluber gets the starting assignment for the Tribe in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? On comes former Cy Young Award winner Corey Kluber. Might have the best right-handed breaking ball in baseball. Great velocity, too. 94 to 96. And he'll throw that comebacker that he'll start at a left-hander zip and bring it back over home plate. Big overhand breaking curveball. Not a true curveball, more of a slur, but it's nasty. Does have a changeup. If he has all three of his pitches, he's nearly impossible to center. Now a curveball to start him out, but an easy take. It's ball one. Coming forward now 
now is the shortstop, Gene Segura. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as the Phillies have taken a two-to-nothing lead. sure he was too focused on the men at first worried about the steal and just made a mistake with that pitch it's all well and good to control the running game but you have to make sure it doesn't distract from your main job getting the guy at the plate with the bat that's good so next to the plate for the Bills Bryce Harper he'll get to take his first cuts here taken for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. Base is empty here with nobody out. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you probably got to sit on that right now. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. With that, a look at the Phillies' batting order in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, I appreciate the, the way base. Bryce Harper plays the game. The guy is in the middle of the lineup, and when he's in the middle, things just happen. Guys in front of him get on, he drives them in, and if not, he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. First delivery to him on the way. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Hoskins behind to count 0 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2 is taken one for ball, ball one. Two that curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of, or else it'll take off just like that one did. Still only one out in the inning. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. Here 
here now the 2 2. Is laid off and the count runs full. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Back up the middle. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Stepping in now, JT Real Muto. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. set and the 1 0 pitch just off the inside corner taken for a ball yeah it looks like to me he hasn't quite found that release point so far here in the first inning down low and the plot thickens here three and oh Michael Franco waits on deck here's the 3 0 and he lays off here a nice job it's ball four. First and second now with one away what's the saying uh, when that you find yourself in a hole, the, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Yeah. Well, the guy on the bump obviously oh. hasn't heard that one. Into the box, Michael Franco. And the Phils trying to make this first inning even better here. First pitch of the at-bat. Fouled off. Here it comes. And he misses with it one and one. Nope. Hit the target, but this is low two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. All even now, two and two. Hoskins over at second. Real Muto is over at first with one away. Fouled away. Two two on the ground for Kipnis. This could be two. Fielded cleanly. One there. Go to Santana. The double play, and that's how the side is retired. But the fighting strike for a pair, both coming on this two-run home run. Second inning coming up. It's now two-nothing Philly. So digging in now, Roberto Perez. He'll begin Leading things the here Indians. against Aaron Nola. Hey, we're still in the five. early stages in this one. Roberto. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. Wind up and the 0 1. And this one misses to the Cleveland backstop. It's even at a ball and a strike. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one.
can't connect there. It's two and two. And he fouls this one off. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And let's focus on third baseman Michael Franco. I think what gets lost in a shuffle, we get it. Offensive force. But he doesn't get enough credit for the way he handles the hot corner. The ability to pick it backhand and come up firing. So striding forward now, Greg Allen. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Here comes the first pitch. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. And it's fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, Man. calling balls and strikes cool. is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Here's Max Moroff standing in. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And a fastball swung on and missed, and his side is retired. Down in order go the tribe. They're still down. It's 2-0. Odubel Herrera. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Cut fastball inside. Ball one. Herrera. A 27-year-old. He was a first-round pick during the 2014 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Well, Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made, and fast. Now the 2-1. Popped him up. Santana moving to his left. Makes the play, one away. Here's how the Indians are setting up on date. And let's take a look at first baseman Carlos Santana. Originally came up from the minors as a catcher. Also has dabbled at DH. But don't get it twisted. This guy can handle first base as well with soft hands and big time power at the plate. Now in the box, Cesar Hernandez. First pitch on its way. Lifted down the line in left. 
Allen is in pursuit. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. The pitcher, Aaron Nola. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Aaron Nola. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Lays off 1 and 0. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Loop down to it short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. After two, it's a two-nothing ball game. Now the Indians pitcher, Corey Kluber, 9-1-2 and two due up. Corey Kluber. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now batting, the center fielder, Leone Marquis. Ready for another chance, Leonis Martin. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Hey. Infielders are taught from the behind the they hold the glove. They, you've got, got to base. play the ball and base not base. let the ball play Dip you. Base. You can see here that this one just ate him up and he couldn't recover in time. Digging in for his second at bat, Jason Kipnis reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. off for second fouled off Martine leads off first with one away and there's ball one the one one Waves and misses for strike number two. And a swing and a miss and another punch out here. Six already and that's out number two. I think he kind of trained the hitter's eyes in that at that. What I mean is you'll find the first three pitches are all down around the knee. So as a hitter, he's probably looking down there again. And that's the perfect time to raise his sights and make a good pitch up. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. First time up, he went down looking. And the curveball's in there, so he's quickly behind nothing in two. That's back-to-back -back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0-2, let's see if he can battle back in this A-B. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And he'll make it into scoring position. 
position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. And I think that's the case of the pitcher being a little too preoccupied with the speed at first. He lost focus on making the pitch and throws an absolute scud. The irony, of course, is the runner's now on second, and he didn't even have to steal. Lays off two and two now. Indians still in search of their first hit of the ball game. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw to first ends the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that will bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew Here's the first pitch to him. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. The Sometimes batter, guys two. get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging Steve. at everything that they see and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Gene Segura standing in. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. The 1-0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Segura behind on a one and two count. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count, three and two. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Now the three and two pitch. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. The right fielder, three. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Field shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Here's a perfect situation. Two outs, base is empty. Power hitter at the plate. He ain't looking for a single and hoping to pass the baton. This guy's looking to do damage. Uh, and him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Hey, newsflash, guess where the next pitch is going after that ugly swing? I guarantee you he tries to get him to reach again. Two out, nobody on. Uh, 
had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there, and that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So, And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Phillies down in order, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Indian. Vaskersian as Carlos Santana settles Carlos in to lead off the inning. Santana. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Lifted down the line and left. After it is McCutcheon. No one can make a play on this one, and the first Indians hit is going to be extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. The left fielder, number 30, Tyler Naquin. Standing in, Tyler Naquin comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And whoa, this is off the third base bag. And they won't get an out here, but the trade off will be that by hitting the bag, it may very the well have prevented a run 55. from scoring. Roberto. Boy, there's a case Hero. of getting a bad break, d -Row. That's a bullet hit right down the third baseline that deflects off the bag. That ball was headed for the corner if it wasn't deflected. Yeah, 100%. You're frustrated. You'll take the knock without question, but you wanted extra bases right there. Pretty amazing that ball was able to hit that bag right there. Here's the first pitch to him. To short. Hernandez at second. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. The left fielder, it certainly one. looked like they might have had Greg a big inning cooking Allen. there with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. In now, Greg Allen. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. 2 and 0. He may be down 2 and 0 after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Three and 0 now. Well, I'll tell you from where I'm sitting. It looks like he's starting to rush his delivery out there. Someone needs to remind him to stay back and let his arm get out front. 3-0 pitch. Is in there for strike one. Hey, that 3-0 pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. Three and one, here it is. Line to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Up next for Cleveland, the shortstop, Max. Standing Moore. in, Max Morov. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging That's at him. You enough. have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Allen is off of first with two away.
one two. Hard hit at third. There is Franco. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. So one run on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Phillies on top, two to one. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Gabe Kapler during the commercial break about the Phillies' offense. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. The Phillies, the first baseman. First offering on its way. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And that's out number one. You can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And in steps the catcher, JT Real Muto. First pitch on its way. And he'll go after the first offering here, although this looked to be well below the knees. It's strike one. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting his showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. Now here's the pitch. And wow, tough to lay off the fastball there, but it's one and two. But there's your textbook waste pitch right there. Try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Two runs on two hits and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Slow grounder to first. Santana fields it cleanly and he'll step on first himself for the out. Bases are empty here with two gone, and that means Mike Alfranco, the third baseman, will bat next. Now the pitch. The ball. There's the sinker to start him out, missing oh, down and away for ball one. Oh, now it's 2-0. Oh. Oh. Back-to-back pitches, they've gone away. Do you tell yourself as a hitter he wants to come in right here? I don't think so. I think he's trying to find that outside corner and adjust accordingly. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's three and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. The three oh. Finds the zone, strike one. 
fourth inning of a two to one ball game. And this one misses inside a ball he walked in and they've got themselves a two out base runner. Now batting. The center fielder. Oh, ball. Digging in. A double Herrera. Both for one for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. They still lead it 2-1. to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians hitters to this point. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs. But he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. All right, thanks, Heidi. Corey Kluber is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. The 1 0 is taken strike one. I got one ball, one strike. Aye. And he takes a cold strike two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Here for it is Segura to make the play. One gone. The center fielder, number two, Leone Martin. Here's Leonis Martin. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch of the at bat. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. And he watches one miss outside. 2 and 0 now. One run on three hits and one error in the ball game for Cleveland so far. Two and one now to the tribe's leadoff man. Good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 and to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place Jason. to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis, as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch.
the 1-1 home. Hit back up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. That's a nice piece of hitting right there, Dan. He went heater now up in the zone and then tried to drop the off speed, but okay. he was on it. Boy, Mark, that's the that. oldest trick in the book, right? You use one pitch to set up the other. This guy wasn't having any part of that. Into the box, Jose Ramirez, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. A one count. Here's the pitch. One ball, one and it's one and one. One, two. Pulled toward right center field. Herrera on the run. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Kipnis is on his way home. And a relay home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite no, carry thing. enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, yeah, yeah. and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Here's Carlos Santana now as he'll take a look at ball one runner in scoring position with two gone. behind the runner at second and he'll be back in standing up the set and the one one and he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul Ready with the one, two. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. A run for the Indians on the RBI double. Middle of the night here in Pennsylvania, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He'll get his side started in the Four inning. Million. And Dan, so far, the they've been baseman. stifled offensively Baseball. since the first inning. Boy, Not they sure have that. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Here comes the first pitch. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Santana will watch it into the glove for the first down. Next for Philadelphia, the pitcher, Aaron Nola. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Aaron Nola. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. Now 
count moves to a ball and two strikes now. A bouncer up the middle. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. The left fielder, number 22, Andrew. Okay. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Andrew McCutcheon. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0 and 1. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Bases are empty here with two men out. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. This one skied out toward right. Nick one's under it. And that's the third out. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Through five, all even at 2-2. Two, two. Riding into the box, Tyler Naquin. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Number 30, Tyler. First pitch coming. Here it is. 0-1 the count. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Harper is there to put it away for route number one. The catcher, number 55, Roberto Perez. In now, Roberto Perez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First offering on its way. Hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the effort pays off as he's able to recover and get the second out of the inning. Well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Digging in and looking for more, Greg Allen. He's one for two in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's yanked into the stand. Strike one. Two out, nobody on. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Herrera. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Indians go down one, two, three. Home half of the sixth inning coming up. Deadlocked at two apiece. For another shot, Gene Segura. Go. He got under Bill one and Billy. popped out his last time up. Shortstop. Gene. The pick. Oh. Here's a center to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Pop 
picked up. Moroff is calling for it. One away. The right fielder, number three. Bryce Harper, he went down on strikes last time up. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Okay, okay, I see where this guy's going, right? He wants to pitch backwards, a little O-O curveball. Don't be shocked if this hitter's sitting all over that same pitch right here. Now the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while, but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he could steal some strikes that way. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball one, taken just off the inside. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Hey, some guys look out there, Dan. They don't care. They can't execute the ball the other way. It's not that easy. They're going to hit it as hard as they can right into the shift and let the chips fall where they may. You know, it's hard, d -Row, when you've come up all the way through high school, little league, college ball, and the minor leagues, and you're used to pulling the ball. That's the type of hitter you are. Some of these hitters are going to have to try to make some changes with these exaggerated shifts. the first pitch. Strike called. Now the throw down. And he's safe. Leads off second with one gun in the inning. Flips the corner of the zone with a sinker for a strike. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. The next 0-2. Misses for ball one. One two is taken for ball two. Two, two, one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Four sound anywhere now. At the plate, JT Real Muto. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they can certainly roll to. And oh, almost had him, but he's able to make it back to first safely. Some stirring now in the Cleveland bullpen. They'll get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and flowing. Runners are at first and second with one away. Oh, and trouble lurking now. He's got it to 2-0. Oh. 
Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. There's a good breaking ball as he gets the bottom of the zone. That is a pro pitch right there. 2-0 curveball for a strike. You make those kind of pitches, you'll be around for a long time. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. First and second now. One man out. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get to third base. Standing in now, Michael Franco. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Here it comes on one and one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. In the score, the runner from third. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Roy. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Here comes the Indians' manager to make that slow trip to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Your Oliver Perez please. is called upon now to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Double Bases are nine. loaded here with only Oliver. one man out. Hey. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Two and zero to the Philly center fielder. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2-0, and and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. Hits are even right now at five aside. Grounded back up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And the second run will score as they push the margin here to 5-2 to two now. Now second baseman, Cesar Stepping up now, Cesar Hernandez. The matchup numbers with Oliver Perez. He's two for three. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Three runs already home here. One and two. 
as a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation. So making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone is a must. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Sent toward first. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Boy, d -Row, when you're starting to swing it like this team, it doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. No hits to this point. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Here's the one one. Line toward center field, and that's in there. Base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Nice piece of hitting right there. Two-seam fastball Let's sinker. He stayed inside and didn't have the action the pitcher would have liked. You know, that's a sinker right there, Mark. It's intended to be down in the zone. And this better pitcher better get the ball down because he can't live up in the strike zone. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. As they'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. Here comes the 1-0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. The 1-1 one, one. takes a pitch for strike number two. Now, one and two. Four runs here in this half inning. Two pitches fouled away. The 2-2 two -two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Gene Segura will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch in there no balls and a strike you know you look at this hitter he doesn't care about being down 0 one he doesn't care about having two strikes with him he's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate nothing in one count here it comes 
takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as a potential route is on. It's now 8-2. to two. The right fielder, number Boy, three. talking about having ducks Five. on the pond right there, Dero. I know everybody Four. wants to hit a home run. Those are the ones you remember. But without question, Dan, two out, two RBI knocks with runners in scoring position right there, you remember these knocks. Here's Bryce Harper now. A and a ball, 1-0. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Now the 2 0. He is looked at for the first strike. Nola at second. Segura at first. Two out in the inning. He's fallen behind now, three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there. And a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news, the single probably drives in a couple of runs. And that will be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. From the stretch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Two out. Base is loaded. Hit high and deep to right center. Naquin's there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Another good inning here for the Phillies, and the brotherly love is in abundance now. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on MLB Network. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Stepping in, Max Moroff. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Ball one to start the at-bat. And this one's over for a high strike, one and one. The one one home misses for the second ball. Pass 
fastball taken high, and it's 3-1 and one now. You do not want to walk the 8-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the 9-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Three-two pitch. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Mike Freeman is going to get a chance to swing the bat here, as that's going to be all for Perez in this one. Freeman. Fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. Hey. A ball and a strike. Grounded to third. Franco has it. Throw, and he's pulled out on a close play at first. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate. Leonis Martin, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? He does. Seven in a row. He set down that one. His side is retired. Down and we're going to try. Still eight to two. And is now in a mop up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Dan O'Connor. Play. JT Realmuto. He singled his last time up. First offering on its way. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Otero has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boy, to every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. One and one the count now. a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Allen ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. The third baseman, number seven, Michael Rocco. Coming to the plate now, Michael Franco. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. First pitch on its way. This is foul right side. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Line drive to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter, the center fielder, Ogubo Herrera. Digging in once again, Ogubo Herrera. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. He 
He's set and the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Moving under it, Allen. And that's the third out. Phillies down in order, but no matter, they lead it 8-2. to two. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Jose Alvarez has been summoned the from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot, number 52, Jose Alvarez. Now playing center field. Stepping into nine, the box, Jason Kipnis. In prior at bats against Jose Alvarez. Alvarez, he's gone three for six. First pitch of the at bat. Right side hit hard. And this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. And the leadoff man's on to start the eighth. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Stepping in now, Jose Ramirez. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Well, I'm not sure if he was looking past this guy to the slugger coming up or just lost focus. But now the big bat steps to the plate with a great RBI opportunity. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Carlos Santana. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. From the belt, kicks and deals. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Kipnis on second. Ramirez at first with no outs. And he falls behind 0-2. Change up and he ain't buying it one and two. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. The one-two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Digging in, Tyler Naquin in prior at-bats against Jose Alvarez. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball, ball and no strikes. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Runners are at first and second with one away. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. And he comes back with a fastball, one, ball, one and two, two now. now. Hit back up the middle. Ah, flip of his glove for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. One left for the Tribe. Still eight to two.
Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Martin able to take it in for the first out. Moving closer towards our conclusion now. 8 2 the count in this one as our line score will give you a look at how we got to this point in the contest. Coming to the plate now, Aaron Altair. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. He's set. Here it comes. Strike one to start the at bat. Here's the 0 1 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Martin is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The left fielder, number 22, Andrew Martin. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Andrew McCutcheon. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's taken for strike one. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. Two and one. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Now the 2-1 is looked ball at three. for ball three. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0-1 to 3-1, and, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. And it's fouled away. Hit on the ground the third. Ramirez is up with it. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But no matter, they lead it eight to two. So striding in, Roberto Perez. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Roberto Perez. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. The 0 and 1 delivery. Popped him up. Franco waits on it. He's got it run away. So he's day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there.
A 2-0 count to the Indians' left fielder. Now, when you've got a six-run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at, guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. Two-well count. The pitch is offered at and missed for the first strike. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. The 2-1 home. Ball three. Three and one. I can't tell you how big a pitch the last one was. The difference between 3-1 and 2-2. 2-2, you're probably taking a turn for the dugout. Here's the 3-1. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Now batting. The shortstop. Matt. So Moore. stepping in, Max Moroff. He was hunched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, and a borderline call, Maddie. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B., see how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. That's a really tough pitch to do anything with. The backdoor slider just off the plate, just missing the strike zone. That's nearly an unhittable pitch to hit for a hitter. Ready with the 1-0. Fly ball out toward left center field. Altair is there now, and he has it to gone. Now back, the pitcher, Dan Otero. Jordan Luplo will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. He's hitting for Cleveland. Number eight, Jordan Luplo. Right there for strike one. The 0 1 on its way. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. And now this crowd, a bit over 30,000 strong, comes to their feet. Stays alive, still 0-2. Last strike now for Cleveland. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses 1-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, the discussion around this game is real easy. It goes back to that big sixth inning where they put everything together. They really broke out there and just brought it home after that. Eight to two tonight's final. Philadelphia wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Aaron Nola earns the victory on the mound. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. evening.